Well, yeah, I'm going to leave you the solo commentary. I'm going to hop off because we're right. probably going to leave soon. Yeah. All right, man. Good seeing you. Yep. So we got Fox and Pac-Man. So for this matchup, again, speed is a huge factor in pretty much all of Smash 4, just so long as you can get uh, you're well versed with the character. And you know, if you pick Fox, you usually know the standard stuff from him. Uh but in terms of maybe projectile game could uh, mix up a little bit of uh, Fox's movements and things like that. Uh, but we'll see. Put up air strings. Already at 80%. Alright. Just push. Trying to do damage on that fire hydrant. I'm not sure when it sends out on his own attacks. But I think I said before that a guarantee... If you get a back air on it clean with Pac-Man when it has no attacks on it prior to, the next attack will definitely send it out. And that's the main setup you people... Uh, Pac-Man players usually go for. Yeah, we get the bell, gets the collision on it too! Oh, couldn't get the, any strong hits off it. It's looking a lot more. E oh, okay. He has this. Yeah, okay. Phew. You never tell. Just wait in game. Alright, standard get up. Miss Red. Well, no, he, he had the up smash, but I think he dodged it out of the way, actually. Bell accidentally hits the fire hydrant. Oh, misplaced. Let's try to rid standard get up. Try to go for a smash, but Fox was able to grab. Apple, all right. <laughs> He's just trying to grab that apple, but he couldn't. He's just that standard jab. <laughs> right now, Fox is laying on pressure, but yeah, Pac-Man is able to shield and throw out... Uh, what was that? Melon, I believe, to get the first stop. All right, what do I need to see? Yeah, he has it. Um... In terms of gameplay, I don't know. Pac-Man is really hard to read. He has like just great mix-ups, and he doesn't even have to like combo into a lot of them. Oh wow! What a collision from that! That was like up smash and fire hydrant at the same time. Yeah, and he's still trying to figure out that uh, how much damage to go for that fire hydrant. Good dash attack that'll send him out. Back air is trying to get strings in, the pac band comes in with neutral, or regular attacks, sorry, not neutral. And then we'll send Z-drop, throw, fire hydrant collides with pac would have been. Oh, wow! That was a good option, because the fire hydrant pushed just a tiny bit where Fox was. He was safe until the fire hydrant pushed him, and he got in that forward smash. On oh, the up B! It was kind of unsafe, but he uh, went through with it. Yeah, and that up B, uh, that little sp uh, the little platform that it leaves can mix up a lot of people, especially on that ledge. If you do standard up, get up on it, it leaves you open. I believe. And that back air, so it's ready to go. Yep, there it goes. Oh, gets the grab, back throw, and it actually does take him out. Wow. Alright. So we got round one going to Uno. See, in terms of uh, play style for Fox, I don't know. It's, I mean, that's why I enjoy watching Pac-Man. It's just that he has such a variety of movements and like options that he can do. I like watching Pac-Man's fight, even though you know it might take a while. It's just, I, I, I'd imagine he's a really fun character to use too, just because of all that, all these options. Right now, Ten is doing a better job at responding. I think he's just rushing in more. Which I can see working, because Pac-Man, while he does have a good amount of, like, setups, setups do take time to use, and the Fox comes in, rushes you, pressures you to try to get him out earlier, or just catches you while trying to get him out, it can lead to uh, devastating consequences. Alright, so now he knows that the dash attack will be able to get it. Dash attack into any attack so far. So, Ten will be prepared for that next time the Fire Hydrant comes out and he can get the first hit. And there you go! 
that edge. <laughs> Who would have thought that just that simple platform with edge guard? Or, I mean, would mess up an edge guard, really. Yeah, and that, uh, Galaga ship loops around, so usually you see a lot of Pac Man try to run into it and, uh, air dodge grab it. Alright, but, uh, 10 takes first stock. Good on him. 96. I'll try to go for the bell. Re grabs. Z drops. Still for it again. Oh, and he hits it. And he got a stage spike from it as well. Wow. Melon sends him out. Alright, so we're just about even. Try to get that dash into up smash. Right now, walling him out with these back airs. Responds to an up air in the zone that, yeah, that Phantasm let him a little bit of too close to Pac-Man. No damage. Okay, he's got a slight damage. A little more, so probably next hit will take it out. Okay, second okay. <laughs> Good dash attack. Good, but really good prediction, too, over that Phantasm to end up. Back air. Next hit will take it. There goes that dash attack. That left him open. The fire hydrant was in front. Oh, the chat. Oh, and the stage spike again. Kind of. Yeah. Alright, so that was Loser's Finals. Alright, so he's not out just yet. My mistake. I keep forgetting when we go into the finals moments. Alright, so let's see what Tim can do. He, uh, he did a, uh, a lot better that second round. We'll see. Final destination. Uh. I don't know. I think this is a neutral stage for both. I mean, just because of the, uh, the platforms. I feel that Fox can get some benefits out of platforms, but uh, Pac-Man would have been detrimental to him. I wonder if something with platforms would have been a better pick, but we will see. This is a spring to get up. The back air response. And right now, yeah, Ten is trying to rush down this Pac-Man. Good. Up tilt screens. Right now, Luna's playing a tiny bit more aggressive, a tiny bit faster, and it's putting in work. Dash attack, you can try it the second time, got it. And I'm not too sure, like, Fox's aerials will definitely help him out. I'm not too sure how Pac-Man's aerials face up against them, but... Yeah, setups like that, dash into up air. <laughs> reflect on that water. Fire hot is so tricky. Whenever they're in the air, expect to take it out, but... Oh, wow! Great reflection! Goes for the mango, but he's able to neutral Gets back to the stage. Fire Hydra giving him a little bit of trouble trying to get his composure on stage, though. He has his up B. Two. Let's Trump. Good job recognizing when he was going to throw off that apple. Tries to work. Okay, that's it. I don't know, because he still gets the push from it if he uh, activates it a little too late, but it's, if he can reflect that water push, it might uh, mess up Pac-Man's movements a little bit. And he has his up B again. Oh, tries. Oh, wow. A little bit of mind games there. He moved in on when Pac-Man was trying to recover with the second one, and so Pac-Man preemptively tried to move, and it, it just forced him off that spring. Yeah, gotta be careful when Pac-Man's right below you. So long as Fire Hydra's not out, it's a safe option. It isn't high enough. And he has the key in hand. It's fast and it's strong, but he doesn't need a back throw. All right, take out first stock. Pretty sure he's going to be able to hold on to the key, too. Because key okay, no, he throws it out, actually. Key is usually known for taking out stocks uh, when you least expect it, like a character run in, like on Fox, actually. Look at 10 coming back with a vengeance right now, 89%. He's having a little bit of trouble when his fire hydrant's out, predicting where Pac-Man will go in relation to the fire hydrant itself and where the water will push him as well. 
try to throw it. It was good prediction on that fire hot and he was trying to get the mango to hit a little bit, but it was just a little bit to the left. And has him through. Oh, wow. Almost a good read. Got the uh, sour spot on that smash. Right now, Uno even using that short hop fire hydrant. Well, we haven't seen all too much. Wow, wrapped around with that side B. It's unexpected. Set neutral. Right now, he's just applying pressure, but solid back air from uh, 10. And he gets a uh, point of his own right now. I feel like he's uh, made the right adjustments. Maybe just a tiny bit more because the percentage, if we were down to last stock, I believe. So I think 10 is starting to get used to this Pac-Man so much so that he's, uh, I don't know, it's really hard to get uh, used to a Pac-Man by my eyes. So props to 10 for being able to take that one. And we're getting some coaching from Vex here for Uno. At least on stage pick, I believe. Oh boy. Let me grab my water while we have the downtime. Well, not water, green tea, but whatever. I make mistakes, people. Lilac Cruise. Alright. Uh, let's see. He obviously chose it for the tilt. It might mess up Fire Hydrant's uh, water and the projectiles, so... I'd say this is a good option for 10. Even though... Well, no. Alright, so... It was Uno that picked it then, because he lost that round there, so let's see what he would get on out of the attack. Um, maybe the tilt would stifle uh, Fox's regular dash? Because the tilt makes it... Uh, it gives it at a higher incline, so it'll cut off the speed a little bit. So maybe the same combos that he's been... Uh, getting trapped by with the standard uh, box rush to like just dash attack will probably mess him up a bit, maybe. Oh, and the spring on stage messes him up uh, twice a little bit. Good back air. Constant jab. He's retreating back to the fire hydrant. That's a pretty good option. Into try yeah. I'll reflect with the fire hodge at that time. Yeah, we're seeing Tan that play a little more alright, that that time he was a little bit aggressive, but he was short hopping, he was trying to mix up a little bit, he's playing a little more defensively. Which yeah, that was pretty obvious. Especially with the smash attack. Gets the bell. It's, oh yeah, that's gonna be a problem actually. I, like I said before, the projectiles might be screwed up. All right, but Uno takes the first stock, so this is last stock option for ten. But he gets an up air of his own, and we're down to one one. He needs to stay alive. That was actually pretty good. The fire hydrant was able to force him back, and. Uh, his, new, uh, his standard jab actually sent Pac-Man up a little bit, so he was able to get out pretty clean from that standard jab. Galga ship loop around, but it gets stopped by the... Yeah, I don't really see why... I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it's not, but... Uh, it's being a detriment to Uno's projectiles right now. Right over the top of the box. Up tilt, up air, up air. Not gonna get it down. Fire hydrant. Oh, we walked in the fire hydrant. That was pretty clear that it was coming down. And he has key on hand. And that'll this will probably take out Fox if he gets it. Back throw, not gonna kill just yet. Fire hydrant set up. Yep, kept it right there. Yeah. If you jab with that fire hydrant after that back air, it sets up a wall. It's a good edge uh, edge guarding opportunity, so. Good show from 10. He uh, responded pretty well. Uh, made it 1-1 on that last one, but yeah, uh, Uno takes it, and he's